Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another installment of everyone's favorite buying experience, Walmart CollectorCon 2024. But, all jokes aside, I have to give it to them, and then also the companies that are involved, this is a seemingly organized event, and I'm thoroughly enjoying that because a lot of times it's a huge guessing game. But from everyone, from Hasbro to Mattel to NECA to Playmates Toys, everyone involved, they've been seemingly just, hey, here's what's going to be available. They already gave us the links. That's always handy. There's little to no guessing on what will be available. However, just as a caveat, and I have to say this, even though it says which products will be available on which dates, just be ready to go tomorrow morning. Just on that off chance, I'm just letting you know, there is always some wonky thing that happens. If you want something that's only available, let's say pre-order Friday, be there tomorrow on Thursday just in case. And when I say you're good, I'll see you the next day because you don't <laughs> want it mess that up. And also, I'm going to tell you honestly, I would not really sweat nor worry about getting anything here. Eventually, you will see this all in the store. Marvel Legends wise, they have said, we don't know if it's actually going to hit store shelves. They might. So maybe if you're interested in those, maybe grab those. But with everything else, I'm going to say you'll probably be good, especially on the NECA Toys end, where that is just going to be first to market. So eventually they will go elsewhere. And just as a heads up, some companies will have their products ready to go, and it should be just a matter of weeks before you get it. None of this long drawn out situation. It's not going to be every company, but as you'll soon see in this video, I might have some surprises, maybe some early looks, some of the merch, just saying, stay tuned for that. However, all that being said, before we get started, as usual, I will have affiliate links down in the description below for every single item that will be available that we talk about in this video. I'll make it real easy. I'll put it by the day, the company. You should be able to just click it, buy it, and hopefully it gets delivered to your house fairly soon. So without further ado, day one, March 14th, 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. East. Let's talk about Hasbro first. Now, for all you G.I. Joe collectors, the G.I. Joe Classified series will have the Night Force Jason Shockwave Feria and the Night Pursuit Cycle. It's a six inch action figure. This does say Walmart exclusive, so take it as that. Walmart exclusive, it's not a first to market situation. It's a guy on a bike. I always joke with everybody. I'm glad I'm not a G.I. Joe Classified collector. It seems like you guys are really getting some cool looking action figures and I'll give it to them. It does look great, but I'm collecting enough stuff. However, we'll say they got me on one of the two Marvel Legends. Not this one though, but as fitting as a Marvel Legends could be as a Walmart exclusive, we have the Marvel Legends series Captain America Secret Empire six inch figure. And he's all blue and that's why he's a Walmart exclusive. Here he is running down the streets towards some sort of Hydra event, who knows. Walmart camp comes with a shield. How many Walmart caps have we had? Walmart sure loves Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Even the evil ones, but at the same time, and this is the one that I'll definitely be going after. Go figure. I know. Spider-Man, the animated series, retro card, Hobie Brown, the Prowler. He's going to be 25 bucks, part of that animated series lineup. We've already had the Prowler released in the more modern Marvel Legends. However, this is Spider-Man animated, and they've done a fantastic job with the colors of the costume, and then we'll say retrofitting a, a previously released Marvel Legends to make it look like the animated counterpart. They nailed the mask. That's pretty cool. I like the unmasked Hobie Brown. So in that sense, yeah, this one will definitely be one that I am after. So two Marvel Legends for those of you after these. Over on Star Wars The Black Series, well, we got an R4 6DO. <laughs> Looks like a traffic cone. He... It is a droid for 25 bucks. I, okay, yeah, there you go. There's not much to say about this. Putting a droid for 25 bucks, maybe a couple droids. 
Those raw sales really aren't helping anything, Hasbro. I'm just going to tell you. And then we also have a Mandalorian Night Owl action figure, which is a generic Mandalorian character, female size. So we're getting a bunch of Mandos. Blank series, I, I just wish they were better. And when I say that, I don't mean to say they're not good, they're not well made. It's just the character selection and then just everything with Star Wars lately. It's very humdrum. And unfortunately, these action figures being produced are very reflective of that. So not to beat a dead horse, not to just be overtly negative. It's just here they are. You have R4, 60O, and a Night Owl. Walmart exclusive, if you need them. Over on the Transformers end. See how my spirits picked up just a little bit more after Star Wars? We got through that. Now, nothing I need, mind you, but Transformers Legacy United will have the Voyager Star Raider Ferric. He's the seven inch figure. Kind of looks like Cyclonus, or they somehow repurposed him. Somehow, some way. It's pretty good looking. Again, doesn't do anything for me, but if you are a fan of some Walmart exclusive Transformers, which can be hard to get sometimes, just saying, and you can definitely grab Ferric. And there's also going to be the Star Raider Lockdown. When I recently did my Transformers animated video, a lot of people had messaged me and they said, well, just so you know, they're doing Lockdown as a Walmart exclusive. That's not Transformers animated lockdown. This is just a normal, and I know they're form-fitting it to make it look like all Transformers, even though it says animated. This is not the animated lockdown. If it said animated on the box, if it was a little bit more animated, yeah, we'd be in business. But I will say, lockdown, pretty darn cool looking for the most part. Does it do anything for me? No. If it was animated, oh yeah, I would definitely... <laughs> Definitely be there day one for this. And then continuing on with the Star Raider, we have Filch, which is a purple bird person. There you go. The Filch 5.5 inch action figure. It's a deluxe class. Transforms into a big old purple bird, kind of like Beast Wars, I would say. Not bad. Again, that's very cool if that's your kind of thing. Then you have the Star Raider Cannonball. Again, deluxe class 5.5 inch figure. Looks pretty solid, I would say. A lot of these, I'm going to assume, are just reuses of other past Transformers, but here and there, they look pretty good. Not ones that I could definitely decipher between, but it's got a big skull on the side. I like that, that's kinda cool. So again, if you are a Transformers fan, well, then the Walmart Collector Con might be right up your avenue. Now, to switch from Hasbro to NECA toys, and just as an FYI, my friends over at NECA will be doing a live broadcast at CollectorCon going through all these upcoming figures, which is pretty cool. First and foremost, I think a lot of people are gonna be after this one, even though, as I said, these are going to be first to market. They will go elsewhere later on. Kinda sorta how it works is that a store, when it goes first to market, they get it for a set number of months, weeks, something like that but usually it's around the one to three month range. And then places like Target, Amazon, those types of avenues will then get the figures. So Ghost Face Inferno, seven inch figure, comes with a baker's dozen of accessories in pure NECA fashion. You know what? You can look at enough photos. Let's check out the figure right here, right now. So if you've been looking for a very interesting ghost face figure, look no further. This is definitely thinking outside the box and I really do loves it for all of its accessories, including the new head portraits with the swappable ghost face masks. I like that. You have a pitchfork, you have bladed weapons galore, and you have a giant flamethrower on top of the usual voice changer and knives aplenty. Ensuring that you can ask all of your victims in style, what's their favorite scary movie? You can go dual bladed if you so choose. You can get extra devilish if in fact their favorite scary movie is Heat, of which you can definitely oblige them. That's a nice touch. I like that. That's just a really cool flame effect within this portable flame thrower. But I'll tell ya, nothing really tops the classic. From the voice changer to a bloodied knife, of which the chrome, hmm, magnifique. That's a nice touch. I highly recommend this Ghostface Inferno figure. You will not be disappointed. Well, that was definitely a fun look, hopefully. Now, to continue on, we have the seven inch 50th anniversary War Duke on the blister card. And if you're a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, the old school, 
you might want this as well. It's a very cool card back figure retros. Again, let's just look at the figure. I have it right here and we can do this properly. Now, if you are one of those collectors that likes to keep things mint on card, fear not, this is a big hefty, heavy card back and it looks great. But keep in mind, this War Duke is an evil action figure, but with that crystal clear bubble, you can definitely see your figure a-okay. I gotta take him out of the packaging. I know, sacrilege, but it's a very well done, well painted, retro looking War Duke. I love the colors on this guy. He really does look cool. And all of his weapons, all of his accessories, have a spot on him for weapon storage. And I in particular love his spooky green ethereal fire sword. That really does stand out as he's holding it high atop his giant blue headdress. So in all honesty, if you're a Dungeons and Dragons fan, if you're a War Duke fan, if you're just a vintage retro carded nut, look no further. Yes, I think you're definitely gonna appreciate and love this retro carded War Duke. He's so evil. Continuing on, we have the last Ronin 7-inch scale Ultimate Casey Jones, which a lot of people have been going gaga for the last Ronin, and they do make for some great action figures. I don't know how much about the story, but the action figures have definitely been top notch. You know what's gonna happen here. Let's just look at the figure. So as I always say in true NECA fashion, they do load up your Ninja Turtle figures with tons of accessories. Casey Jones is no exception. And the figure does look great. All of the last Ronin designs really do make for some awesome looking action figures. He has a ton of hands. He's got a ton of weapons. He's got his golf bag, mask, unmask. That's very cool to see. It's just really all the weapons that you gotta have with Casey Jones. From the hockey stick to the cricket bats, he's got it all in spades. And just that new look, that futuristic old man Casey Jones look does stand out. All of the weapon storage is there. He stands really nicely with all of that weapon storage. And just make sure to give him a stand because even in his old age, he can definitely go Goongala on your butts. So if you were wondering, how does this Casey Jones stack up to the rest of the last Ronin figures from Raphael to... I want to say Electra, but we all know who it is. And then Michelangelo, who is, well, I don't want to give away any spoilers. Yes, this Casey Jones will make an excellent addition to your last Ronin TMNT toy shelf. And then to round out the turtle offerings for NECA toys, we have the last Ronin first to fall, Raphael. If you've not read the story, this might be a spoiler for you, but yes, it's uh, Raphael. Uh, with his fashionable uh, turtle shell full of arrows. <laughs> Things don't go well for Raphael. Here, let me just show you. And see, I wasn't joking you. Raphael has definitely been taking a few hits, to say the least. But in looking at the prior released Raphael to now this last to fall Raphael, you're going to get a ton of extra accessories, all of which function to basically kill Raphael, as morbid as that sounds. And yes, his shell is loaded with little slots of which every single arrow can fit, even one through the old leg, Achilles style. God, that looks painful, but it makes for a very interesting Raphael, especially in context of the last Ronin. And to see the first version to now this last to fall, again, it's going to be minor differences. There's just a lot more blood and arrows. So in looking at Michelangelo, Karai, and now this new Casey Jones, once again, to say, if you're a fan of the last Ronin, yes, this Raphael, this morbid as it is, will definitely fit in quite well to your TMNT toy shelf. And then to round out NECA Toys' offerings, we have the Edward C. Burke from London After Midnight. Seven inch ultimate action figure, 35 bucks. Perfect for your horror collection, I will say. And well, let's just, you know, I, I'm, I'm just messing around. Unfortunately, I don't have this one as a first hand look. And with that, we conclude day one of the Walmart Collector Con. But lo and behold, March 15th, day two, 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. East. Over on the Playmates Toys Avenue, we will be getting yet another chance 
probably the 55th time we've all had the ability to grab these original 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Should be very easy this time. Something that doesn't seem to be easy for Playmates Toys, though, is matching that original green for Raphael. I know that green. That ain't no Raphael green. <laughs> Hopefully this time around, it better matches. You get all four turtles, you get all their weapons. This box set was released about six years ago, but it's coming around for more. 40 bucks if you want to grab these original TMNT figures. Now, over on the Jazzwares end of things, and I'm not going to pretend to know anything about AEW Wrestling or later on Mattel Wrestling. It's just not a thing with me. However, Walmart exclusive Matt Jackson this guy. <laughs> if you want him, he's 20 bucks, along with the Walmart exclusive Nick Jackson. And without knowing anything about AEW wrestling, I'm going to assume that they know one another. Sting! He's going to be the AEW unrivaled supreme. I know who Sting is. He looks cool. I heard he just recently retired. But hey, that's a good looking figure if you want Sting. So 40 bucks if you want this figure. Starts Walmart Collector Con. March 15th, 7 a.m. <laughs> Again, you should have no problem grabbing these. Now, continuing on with wrestling, but in the WWE fashion. Again, not going to pretend I know these wrestlers. However, I am aware of mankind. I know what Sako is. This figure looks pretty good. 33 bucks. If you want to, I'm sorry, 32.97. We're rolling back prices all over the place, right? <laughs> the Rock. I know who The Rock is. He's getting a figure with accessories, with Build-A-Figure parts. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Black Adam, Maui. It's The Rock. There you go. It comes with a microphone. <laughs> a bunch of Build-A-Figure parts. Then you have the Monday Night War Elite Collection, Stevie Ray. He, too, comes with accessories and Build-A-Figure parts. Along with the War Elite Collection, Booker T. Comes with accessories and Build-A-Figure parts. Again, 23 bucks. For those, for those interested. Also, the Monday Night War Elite Collection, Rob Van Dam. He's got the thumbs out, guns out. He's ready to wrestle. Along with the Ultimate Edition, Monday Night War, Eddie Guerrero. Name sounds familiar. I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> so if you want any of these wrestling figures, links down in the description below. Moving on to Masters of the Universe. Yes, that line is still going. The Masters of the Universe Origins Collection. We'll see Lord Gurasp. It's an interesting name. He is a snake man. Snake man. He looks pretty cool. I actually really like the way that this looks. It's a snake and a cape, and he has a little oven mitt that you can chop on things with. I like it. This is, this is probably one that I'm definitely going to grab. <laughs> Gotta stop. With these Origins figures. This one, I don't know why it looks so terrifying, but he's terrifying looking. He's Terror, which that was a figure I thought was another figure a long time ago when I did a news video because they didn't give me the name until much later after the video ever premiered. So thanks a lot for that, Mattel. But this is the Motu Origins Alien Snackman villain. He's an alien Snackman because he has a robot arm. Let me know down the comments. I, see, I know Masters Universe fairly well at this point, but I don't know about that alien aspect to it. I might be wrong, but in either case, yeah, he looks pretty darn cool. Now, moving from Master Universe Origins to now the Turtles of Grayskull, we have the actual Walmart exclusive, the mutated Moss Man. And I have to say, it's pretty darn cool. I'm not stoked on the price. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, that's what it is these days. However, he looks like something out of HP Lovecraft, the Necronomicon. That is some body horror action if I've ever seen it. So, Master of the Universe, Origins, the Turtles of Grayskull, the Mutated Moss Man, 36 bucks if you want them. And that being said, there will be another Walmart exclusive Turtles of Grayskull figure in the form of Krang. And he looks pretty darn cool, if you ask me. It's a bigger figure. In fact... Why don't I just show you the figure right here, 
right now. Let's check him out. So now, first things first, with this new Turtles of Grey Skull Krang, he is going to be a larger figure, which does suit the nature of Krang's android body, and then also the Motu character Megator, which, of course, they have been combined. It really is always the artwork on these Masters Origins figures, Turtles of Grey Skull figures, that really make these toys pop. Look at that right there. That is beautiful artwork for this packaging. And I am happy to say that this Krang is a really well done figure. I like to see all the creativity in this new Turtles of Grey Skull line. There are a number of accessories, including Krang himself, and you get the little chest cavity of which you pull Megator apart and insert that chest cavity, swap out the hands, have him holding the ax, that's pretty darn cool, but it really is well done in terms of, again, adding Krang's android body to this prior Motu character. The scaling definitely is a lot of fun, and in swapping out all the parts and pieces, adding Krang, yes, you're definitely going to have a lot of fun if you're a fan of these Turtles of Skull action figures. Well, I hope that was definitely fun for you guys. And again, hope it uh, helps you in deciding if you want these figures. And then to wrap things up all nice and neat and a little shark bow, we have the return of Street Sharks. Now, let me just tell you, these will not just be a Walmart exclusive. They're just going to be available during Walmart CollectorCon. They will be available on Amazon and Entertainment Earth, so I'll have links down in the description below as well if you want, or you can look at my news video. You can learn all about the new 2024 Street Sharks. We're going to be having Ripster. He is very cool looking. These are all six to six and a half inch figures. They have real feel shark skin. They have little abilities like Ripster will punch you in the face. And he also comes with a shark cage, which you can disassemble and create a larger shark cage. How that will work exactly remains to be seen. But there will also be Jab and he's the hammerhead guy. So there will be a button on his back and he'll shoot his face out at you and jab you. He's got his little camouflage pants and boots going on. The blue really brings out the notion that he's from the sea. Because you see, he's a street shark, of course. <laughs> Also comes with his shark cage. And then to round out the villains and the street sharks first wave, we have Slash. He's got that powerful chilling drilling action. So I'm going to assume there's a button on his back. We haven't seen the back. They haven't given us promo photos of what the backs look like. I'm sure they're still kind of fiddling with it. But yes, essentially you would do something. You push something on the back and his little corkscrew face would twist and turn. He is very cool looking. All the street sharks very excited for them. That will wrap it up. And just to say that will wrap it up, there might be some hidden surprises here and there. I'm always going to throw that out there. Just because they weren't promoted up to the sale doesn't mean that other things may pop up. I'm not saying there are. I'm just saying I've learned my lesson over the years. There may be. So keep that in mind. But hopefully, fingers crossed, this is it. That's a lot. That's a lot to talk about. Walmart Collecticon. It's a lot of stuff, but there is something for everyone. So it's only a lot of stuff if you've collected everything or you want to collect everything. Again, for me, the Prowler. I'll uh, get some of those Street Sharks and probably some of those Masses Universe that are left. And again, thank you to my friends over at NECA Toys for sending out those early samples to give you guys a first-hand look. And to my friends over at Mattel for sending over Krang to also give you guys a first-hand look. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Walmart CollectorCon. My best wishes to you all in this endeavor. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, always remember, it doesn't have to be today. You can always buy it a different day. Even if it sells out, don't worry. Things will be readily available eventually. Just let you know. And when you do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.